Hey everybody, welcome uh, here to a little bit of Deck 101. We're gonna show you how to install the full-size deck system into your full-size truck. Uh, we're gonna walk you through all the steps and show you exactly what you need to do. Now you may notice that some of these steps are a little bit different in the beginning, depending on the kind of truck you have. Today we're gonna install it into an F-150. So the early prep bed steps may be different, but otherwise everything's the same. The first thing you want to do is read the instructions. The second step, set all the hardware out on the ground so you can see it. It'll make it that much easier to do a quick install and not be worrying about something that you missed or maybe there's a pile of you know, extra nuts and washers that you don't know what to do with. Diving right in, we're going to prep the bed in this truck and get it ready for the install. F-150 requires shims and replacement some tie-down brackets. On the F-150 and some other trucks, you gotta do a little tie-down replacement. F-150 takes these, I'm gonna quickly replace the tie-downs so we have something to attach the deck system to. You're gonna wanna drill half-inch hole into the dimples that are at the bottom of each ammo can. We've marked them for you so they're super easy to find. before we start putting anything together, is we want to inspect the gaskets. You want to make sure they're laying flat, they're in the right location. If you're for some reason missing a gasket, please stop and call us. And I've set this system up just like the truck bed, so it's easy for me to visually understand what's going on. So this would be the tailgate end. You want that axle at the tailgate end on both sides. You put it together backwards, you're going to be bummed you have to turn it around which means taking the whole thing apart. When you put your ammo cans down for the tailgate, make sure that this axle here, this metal bit, is furthest away from you. We'll set the C-channel up on top of the ammo can, take out some nuts and bolts out of your C-channel hardware bag. The bolt head will go in through the C-channel like this, take a nut, and then just finger tight. There are two nuts and bolts per ammo can, so they're gonna go sequentially from the back to the front. And then onto the cab side ammo can, only finger tight. It's really important you put the driver's side panel on the driver's side of the truck. Then you just set it down on the center vert. We're gonna need three different bags of hardware from your kit. Cab side, ammo can, second bag, washer, third bag, bolt, FS1. We're just gonna prep these bolts. The bolt head will first have the nylon washer next to it, then the rubber washer below it. So it looks just like that. Set your clutch pretty low, like in the first third, like this one's on seven, and then turn your drill speed down to the slow speed. That'll keep from putting too much torque on the brass inserts. Just take these and you can attach the rear of the deck to the ammo can. Now we got the tailgate side ammo can nice and snug down. We're gonna move on over to the cab side. It's a little bit different. You're gonna need a 3 8 inch socket on your drill and a 7 16 on your ratchet. It's usually the best way to do it. Get all your bolt heads in first. The nuts, just get them finger tight and we can come back later and we'll tighten them down with the drill. Grab your Bolt FS1 kit to put the center vert together and go to town, tighten her down. Great, now you're feeling manly. And you can remember those bolts and nuts that we just finger tightened in the beginning to the C-channel? It's really important to remember to go back and now we're gonna tighten those. Grab your 7 16 and your 3 8 drill, tighten these things down. Then go back to the cab side and do the cab side. Repeat the same process on the other side, so I'll spare you the boredom. When you get back here, we'll have this all put together and ready for the next step. Just grab your drawers, one bag of wheels, corner brackets, and those little black round things, we call them tube braces. And I like to start by just dumping everything into a drawer. These brackets have a right and a left hand, and you want that angle to go into the back of the drawer. And the long bolt goes right here at the head of the drawer. We've got the uh, nuts and bolts in there. We're gonna grab our 3 8 and our 7 16 again and just tighten that stuff down. Now it's time to get that round piece of black metal called the tube brace out. And you'll put this in back the drawer through these last two holes that don't have a bolt for them. And then come back with your drill. The next step is to get yourself your wheel bag and a 7 seconds uh, hex wrench. One of these three quarter inch bolts through the wheel into that corner brace. 
Once again, we're just gonna jump over and repeat the same process on the other drawer. We won't bore you with that, we'll be right back. Um, unless you've been hitting the gym, uh, you might wanna get a friend to help you with this. Connect the two deck halves together down the center vert, so get your 3 8 and the remaining bolt FS1 kit bolts, there should be between five and seven of them, depending on the truck bed, and hop in there and connect those two halves. Good to go, so I'm gonna put the drawers in and show you how this works. We've been so kind as to put one of the handles in. There's not a handle in the other drawer, and that's just because when they ship like that, we can't get the other handle in. So I'll walk you through it step by step to make this uh, somewhat, you know, brain fart of a process a little bit easier for you. There's two springs. There's a red one and a silver one. The red spring goes on the right, short leg down, and the long bent leg going in with the hook pointing to the left, and slide it up into this cavity right here, and push it all the way to the top. And then you're gonna stick the clevis pin through this hole and slide it right through the loop of the spring, just so it barely starts to poke out the other side. So now we're gonna repeat with the silver spring on the left side. The vertical leg is going straight down the short leg. Stick it up in there so that you see that silver part and then stick your clevis pin in so that it goes through the spring. It barely starts to poke out the other side. Take the handle with the uh, logo facing you. So you slide it into the back and then lever it up and then watch the little notches in the handle will grab the spring arms and just rotate it like that. Then you're gonna reach up and finish sliding the clevis pins all the way through. And then grab the little cotter pins that are included and these go down and just pop right into the little holes at the ends of the clevis pins and those will keep the clevis pins from coming out. Now we're gonna put the wheels in. Take an ammo can or something that's about that thickness will help hold the drawer up. So just take your wheel and your axle, come in here, and get that thing started with a couple of turns. And once she's going, get your 730 seconds, tighten it on down there so it's nice and snug. And then remove your ammo can lid and you just go over and do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna put the uh, weather strips on and these are really important that you get these on the right way. It'll say right here on the back, this side faces cab. That means that that side faces the cab. It's also angled and you want the point of the angle pointing towards the cab. If you put them on this way, it's all good. If you point them on, put them on backwards, it's a funnel. It's gonna put water right into your drawer. So make sure you put these on following these instructions. Uh, this step we call the fun stuff. So we're gonna put on the torsion brace, the bottle opener, and the ruler. Okay, so once again, we're using um, the brass inserts with a screw, so turn the clutch down on your drill so it's not too tight, slow speed. Gently tighten down the middle ones first. And then once the middle's all tightened down, just move back out to the outside and tighten down these last ones. Install the ruler. So on the ruler install, just get each one of the ruler screws just started. So just tighten them down by a little bit of finger pressure there. Then you can go back with your uh, hex key and snug them all down. Ruler's on, bottle opener's on. One more step gonna attach the corners to the tie downs. And that's to attach the deck system to your bed tie downs in your truck. So just make sure that the deck system is centered in the bed, kind of put it into position, and you can kind of measure off of the ribs just to make sure that those parts and pieces are all aligned. Get your J-hook and your spherical nut washer and come over here and do the installation of the J-hook. It's gonna go in just like this. We're almost there. Uh, there's one last step and that's to put the little ammo can window lids and the ammo cans. Uh, so pop those in there, very important, into the access ports. And then we're gonna install the ammo can lids. It'll say in here, in the lid, driver cab, passenger tailgate, or passenger cab, driver tailgate. So it's kind of a X formation, and this thing will snap right into place. And you'll be good to go. So just do that three more times, and your deck system's ready to go.
Okay, that's our great Deck 101 install video. If you made it this far, your truck probably looks like that. If you haven't bought a deck system yet, probably should do it. Uh, we make it easy for you. Thanks for following along. Of course, if you have any questions about this video, hit us up in the comments, social media, email, telephones, mental telepathy, Vulcan mind melts, magical brain powers, whatever you prefer to operate in, we're happy to help you. Did you see that? Congratulations on your new deck system.